In this session, we're going to take a look at creating easy, accurate white bases working in Corel Draw. I can see that I've got a basic row set up here in my Corel Draw document, and if I go ahead and left click and hold down and lasso everything, I can see that I've got 170 objects. I really don't want to go through these objects manually and work with them as vector. It's too easy to make a mistake, get impressed, find out I've got a mistake in my separations or in my white base, and then have to take the screen out, reclaim it, fix the separations, etc. All the while, I could have been making money printing t-shirts. This is one of the techniques that we've been using for years, and it works marvelously, and we've never had any errors with it or problems. So we can really eliminate the opportunity for human error, and also extremely reduce the amount of time it takes to create our white bases, as opposed to doing them manually working with vector. So to do this, the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and copy this, and then I'll go ahead and paste it back in. I'm going to go to bitmaps and I'm going to convert this to a bitmap. I'm going to go with 800 dpi, which is high resolution. That way my output will be very clean, just like vector. I'm not going to have any of my options turned on, anti-aliasing or transparent background, and I'll select OK. Once that's finished processing, I'm going to go over to my bitmap color mask, which is here. If you need to get to that, you can go to Window, Dockers, and Bitmap Color Mask, and that will bring that up. I'm going to go ahead and Make sure I've got hide colors selected. I'm going to show my tolerance is set to zero. I'm going to go ahead and check mark this first color, grab my eyedropper, come over here and click on the black. I'm going to click on apply. I'm going to get a warning here. I'll go ahead and select OK. Now I'll left click and move this over and you'll see that we've knocked out all the black. All that we have left is our color. I'll hit Control Z to move that back. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to bitmaps I'm going to go to Mode, and I'm going to select Black and White. I'm going to go to Line Art, and I'm going to bring my threshold all the way up to 255, and I'm going to select OK. And now we can see that we have a basic white base setup. I can come over here and left click to knock out my background color, and I can see that base. Now, very often in screen printing, we like to choke our white bases. And if we zoom in here and take a look, a choke would be moving this black edge back just a bit so we have some breathing room for registration and the color ink will just nicely flow over that. And we can do that very easily in Corel also. To do that, I'll simply come up here to Edit Bitmap and we'll open this up in Corel Photo Paint. Once this is opened in Photo Paint, I'll go ahead and maximize this. And I'm going to go to my image and I'm going to change this to an RGB. And I'll select No for flattening it. I won't need to do that. What I'm going to do is create a mask for the black. So I'll come over here to go to Mask, Color Mask. I'll go ahead and reset this. I'm going to ensure that I'm set to zero here. Just come up here and click on one of these color chips. Come to the eyedropper. Come over, select the black. Click OK. And now you'll see the marching ants or mask around my black. Go ahead and zoom in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to push these pixels back a few so that we'll have a choke on our white base to print our colored ink over. To do that, I'll go to Mask, Mask Outline, and Reduce. I've got this set to six pixels. You could set it to four if you wanted to have a smaller choke, depending on how much you want to work with in your shop. Or you could set it even higher and have more choke. And I'll go ahead and select OK. And we can see here's the choke, and these are pushed in. Now I'm going to go to Mask, and I'm going to go to Invert, because I don't want to delete or cut the black. I want to delete or cut where we've cut off to create our choke. So I'll come over here and I'll go to cut and you'll see that disappear and now we've pushed that all back. Go ahead and select save. Go ahead and close photo paint. And you'll see that we can now have a perfect white base. This is actually black but it's for the color separations and it's been choked perfectly. And we haven't made any mistakes working with the vector. We'll go ahead and cut this Come in here to Insert, Page After, paste that in, and I'd have a white base for my separations. Now I could also take this and go to Bitmap, Mode, Black and White, select OK, and then I would have colors to work with here. And if I wanted to set this up for all black output, I could double click here, come up to my color, go to More, and just start changing these values to 100. 100, 100, select OK, select OK, and then this monochrome bitmap would be set up for all black output if you wanted to do so. 
So this is just a quick video on how to set up flawless white bases. We've been using these techniques for years, never had any problems with our white bases. Also saved a lot of time and hassle in relation to dealing with the number of vector objects in the graphics and designs that we're working with. And using this, once you get it down, you'll be able to do these literally in a matter of one or two minutes, you'll have perfect white bases. Really expedite your artwork production. We'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.